All right, guys. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to show you an amazing discovery that I made while trying to get a little bit more out of my Springfield XD9. I wanted a few more rounds and I'm gonna show you some of the things that I came up with. And one of them was a big surprise to me. It's something that you can do if you have the same gun. I wanted to get one more magazine for my Springfield XD9 and I wanted to get a Metgar 18 round magazine. I already had one of those and I really like it a lot. You get two extra rounds that you don't get on a standard capacity XD9 magazine. The standard is 16. I also remembered back to all of my deployments and I had Metgar magazines for my M9 Beretta and it had a plus two base plate on it. According to Midway's website, it would fit on any of Metgar's magazines. So I thought I'd give it a try and see if it would work and give me two more rounds out of that Metgar 18, making it a 20 round magazine. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Well, anybody can do this. This is not an amazing discovery, but that's not all I discovered. So just bear with me for a little while, would you? Anyway, here's that Metgar 18 round magazine. And here I have the Metgar plus two base plate. Again, this is made for the Beretta M9, but according to Midway, this should fit. Now, one of the biggest complaints that I saw on some of the reviews on Midway was the lack of instructions. There was no nothing telling you how to put this thing onto your magazine. Now, since I'd used one of these before on my Beretta magazines, I knew exactly how they went into place. And I'm gonna show you real quick, so if you have any questions, you decide to do this. It's actually fairly easy to put it on there, if you know how. So here's how you do that. First off, you need to take the base plate off of your Metgar magazine here. Really anything that you can get in here and push this plunger down and then you slide this off of here. And make sure as you slide this off, you keep that spring under control. You don't want to put anybody's eye out. Alright, so here we've got the parts off of here. You take your plus two base plate. What you're going to do is you're going to take this little bracket here, this little L bracket. Let's see if we can get the focus here right. And this little piece right here, we're going to make sure we hook that around our spring. And what you want is you need to put it on there and pivot it around until the L shape is at the back of the magazine. Once you do that, you're going to compress the magazine in, making sure that this piece is on the outside of the magazine, okay? It needs to go on the outside. And you're going to slide this on all the way back, and that L-shaped piece will slide forward right into place. Now it's as easy taking this off, you just really you use your finger pressure to pull that down and then slide it forward. So that's all it takes. It fits on there perfectly and I can get 20 rounds in this magazine. But there's something else that I noticed and this is where I got one more round out of this that I wasn't expecting to get. Now, when I looked at this, I thought, well, you know what it looks like? It looks like it's the same size as the standard base plate that comes with an XD. So I thought I would, well, you know, might as well look. Let's see how that works out. So let's change that out and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here is the Metgar Plus 2 base plate and this is on a standard XD9 magazine. Now in theory, this shouldn't even be for an XD pistol at all. This should be for a Beretta M9 or 92, okay? But it fits on this perfectly and let's load this thing up and see just how many rounds we can get in this. Now keep in mind, it originally holds 16. So here we go. Okay, so here we are at supposed maximum capacity. So here's 16 rounds. How many more above standard capacity we can fit? So here's one more. Here's two. It is getting snug in there, that's for sure. All right, well, there's 19. So this plus two just became a plus three. So this 20th round, it's about an eighth of an inch shy of making clearing the feed lips here. So 
but we've got 19 rounds now in a 16 round magazine. All right, so here it is. We have a little bit of a tiny gap here, but really not much of one. In the, with my Metgar magazine, I've got about a quarter inch gap right there. I think this looks a lot better and I get one more round out of it that I didn't even get with the Metgar. It holds 19 plus one. So with the plus two, I was able to get three extra rounds in my standard capacity 16 round XD9 magazine. Now, I don't know if this will fit on other magazines. I don't know if it fits on the XDM9 magazine. I really don't know any of that. But I know most double stack magazines are pretty darn close to the same dimensions. So you may want to take a look at it. If you buy it from a reputable source, you can always send it back if it doesn't fit. It's worth looking into if you're trying to get a couple extra rounds into that magazine. And I know for a fact you can get three extra ones in a standard 16 round XD9 magazine. You now have a 20 round capable gun with a 19 plus one. And definitely worth the 10 to $15 it costs to buy the plus two from Metgar. If you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions about what I did and how I got those three rounds extra in my Springfield XD9 magazine, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back with you guys. Till next time, take care and be safe.